Hi guys, I'm back up again, Howard Forest, to do another wild camp for a change. <laughs> Most of my videos have passed, I don't know, five or so, it's been Howard Forest. And what a job we've had to try and find a way into the camp. Uh, we've had some high winds and I've noticed there's a few more trees come down, which makes what already indistinct root in even more difficult. You need a shave. Trying to let it grow out. We've got him a shaver for Christmas, he's never used it. But eh, uh, aye. Never mind. Uh, look, this tree's just come down, hasn't it? Come up from up there, I was trying to figure that out before. Up there, that one. Behind you. That one. Oh, yeah. Bigfoot did that. Mm. So we're just heading back to camp on this Boxing Day wild camp. I'm just hoping everything's still here. This stuff here, you know, if you've got no bug roll, sphagnum moss, it's just a fantastic, it's antiseptic for a start. You can dress wounds with it. You can also squeeze water and get a drink from it. Soaks up a lot of water. And like I say, it's antiseptic, dress wounds with it. It is nature's bug roll. You know what I mean? If you look hard enough, the forest provides everything, or nearly everything. It doesn't provide cake or He says it doesn't provide cake. No, it doesn't provide luxury items. It provides the basics. He's very festive, isn't he? Was well, Santa good to you? Aye. Did you, get, did you get everything you wanted? Yep. You got a shaver as well, but oh, you put your tash off. Just hey, it. magic tash it just comes off, right. you know, by itself. I oh, think you even got your air. Uh, my all my good old work, not taught by you. Yeah, good. Yeah. He knows more than me. No, well, it's getting that way. See, he retains knowledge, whereas I just forget knowledge. You're, you just go in one ear and out the other. Yeah, that's because we mainly like to save. It's probably about 11 now. This is as much light we're gonna get in the forest. And it's beautiful, the golden light shining through the trees. And then it only lasts a couple hours. And then you know this guys, it's dark from about four o'clock till eight in the morning in the middle of winter. So if you're frightened of the dark guys, Harwood Forest isn't for yous. Do you know what I mean? Get out and do it a while, I can't we know it makes sense. You know it makes sense. And it's spooky as well. And faster. The festive. So I switched on. I know. Save the batteries for later. He does that because he knows I hate Christmas because it's just bollocks. Because you're a Grinch. We're well, being watched, guys. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Do you start liking Christmas? Ward Nicholas won't come for you next year. He loves Christmas, can you tell? You know what I mean? I, I can see for what it is, it's just. It's all about spending money, consumerism. Don't forget, Santa Claus brings your presents, your parents buy the other presents. Yeah. You know what it is, right? Christmas, it's just bollocks. It's just all bollocks. Christmas always left a note in the uh, teepee. Have they? I didn't, I didn't notice it straight away when I walked in. Put in the plastic bag so it's not gonna get wet. Two pages stapled together. Do you wanna hear it? Well, yeah, come on then. Hello Fell Wanderer. We are three subscribers that have been inspired by your videos to, to get out and explore. I haven't got green glasses on like so oh, that's a bit better. We love going to Harwood Forest, but Storm Arwen did a lot of damage. Nevertheless, it's great to be out in the open. Apart from your latest video, you haven't been posting much since your late family situation. We wish you all, all well. We will leave your camp as we found it with, with no trace. Apart from this note, get out and do more videos. They're so entertaining. Th this must have been oh, another page as well. It's almost as if like they were just out walking, they must have known it was here and then they thought well the next time we'll go we'll leave them a message. That's yeah. the impression I'm getting so it's... Jimmy Lundy says uh, it's been found, he knows somebody that's found it. 
<laughs> it's gonna get found eventually guys but you know what it is nothing's been moved right what does the second page say get up and do more videos you're so entertaining and informative we have learned a lot about the area we live in get out and do more you know it makes sense you know it makes sense wishing all wishing you well three ardent subscribers now you know it is that's lovely that that they're the kind of messages that I, I, i'm getting a little bit emotional here you know, well well that doesn't happen very often it's do you know what it is right if it inspires other people to get out there and enjoy what we've got you know enjoy the wilderness we've got so much northumberland is such a beautiful place so i'm going to be sleeping in the teepee in the bivy same thing as usual I had plans on building a raised bed, but you know, there's not, not many hours in the day and it's all about prioritising what needs doing. And I think collecting a load of wood because I'm going to have a hot tent video on it at a later date. I have brought some wood with us, some kindling wood. It's great for just getting fires going. And because if you're going to have like a, a hot tent and a stove, they don't run very well on wet wood and you, you've got to have dry wood to get them going basically. Jersey. It's going to be heavy rain mine in the morning. Uh, the last video he had it, I was suggesting that the diamond shaped configuration would be better because you get a little bit extra coverage on the ends of his hammock. Just don't have the room there. Oh, he hasn't no, got the room. Not in this, not in this bit anyway. I and mean, it, it's covered on both ends. It's not, it's not gone anyway. Yeah. Yeah, just and even, it. and even so, the, the, the um. These things, so it will just drip down anywhere. You know, unless you've got a big enough top to adequately cover up the ends of your hammock, you basically need to be in a bivy or something, especially during the winter. Why take risks? It's an extra little bit of weight, right? The bivy bag is a shelter in its own right. I think it's, it's better than. It's better than. Uh, I'd rather carry an extra kilo than die of hypothermia, like. You love green, don't you? Oh. It's, it's, your, it's your new colour. Not really, black. Aye. That red Santa hat looks a little bit out of place, like eh, in the woods. Doesn't matter, does it? No. It's a bit. It's quite festive, though. But it's Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Why do they call it Boxing Day? Is that boxing on or something? Do you want to? Do you want to know why? Why? Because. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think back in like the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and that kids wouldn't open their I think kids in like the 60s, 70s and 80s, they would like open stuff out of the boxes. They'd get the wrapping paper off Christmas Day and then put them on the side till Boxing Day, the day after. And then they'd get them out of the boxes and like play with them or set them up or whatever they were. Ah. I, th I think that's what it is. I mean, feel free to correct us if I'm wrong. Do you know what it is? That, that sounds like a very good uh, explanation. It's almost like... You, you, you let, yeah, ex extending the excitement. Yeah, you, you, you make it last that little bit extra, an extra day. You know that wouldn't work with me because when I was a kid, I, everything was open, and within about like thirty seconds, everything was open. Do you know what I mean? And like I was out playing with my toys. I mean, you bet I was out on the street. I could never get an extra day. Look at them boxes. So Christmas day, just sitting there all day, just or you, know, you just wouldn't. Or, or maybe just play with one. One toy, and then keep the rest of the toys for the next day. Oh, I don't know. Nah. I'm tired of shite again. I'm I think I'm right. I think I was right. Thank you. You know, as you haven't put the ridge line through them loops, it does. It does really matter. I've put the. It's just quick release. Just take that off in the morning, then that's free to come down. So you don't need to take. You don't need to take the ridge line down. Just unclip from the Caribbean, and it's away in your bag. There's, uh, there's loops on the centre of the top, but you know what it is, right? It's such a lightweight top anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. It's not going to be high winds in here. Well, I'll probably bring some more carabiners next time. Uh, oh, I just make like, like, more quick release. Yeah, it's because you don't need to take the guideline. It's guidelines been up there for seven months. It's pointless taking it down just to put it back up again. Yeah, oh, I see what you mean. I uh, the, the thread is through. Yeah, I never thought of that. What was your idea? You see. I'm thick, he's willing. He, you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of like thinking, oh, he's doing it wrong, but in actual fact, he did it the, the, the best way, the easiest way. You know what I mean? So I'll just shut up right away. It's like, I think, I think the cadets just drilled that into us, like, like, quick. 
Can't be like fucking around for 10 minutes putting ridge lines in. I'll rip it. I'll wind my neck in and zip it, right? I'll start to lose the light now, so I'm gonna need loads of wood. And you know, it's, most of it's dry in the middle, but it's soaking wet on the outside, so I'm gonna just basically prep some wood and put it on another canopy to dry. For the, you know, I'm thinking of the future, I'm always thinking of ways to improve the situation. So, I mean, I, we could split it and get some dry wood out of it, but also these sort of lengths can be just dropped onto a fire later. Don't have to cut them into little logs. As long as they're dry, we're well, gonna have rain tonight, so the more wood I get prepped and chucked under the canopy to dry out for future camps, it's just gonna be better. And it's very punky, so it should cut no bother this. In fact, why waste your blade? I mean, that could come away that quite easily if you didn't have a saw. Look for punk wood. Absolutely very damp on the ends, on the very base of the tree. But as you go further along, it's bone drier, or very little moisture in it. Get up and do it a while, can't we know it makes sense? You know it makes sense. Does it make sense, Christopher? Aye. He's my cameraman because the tripods are all kind of like being used at the minute. So we'll just look for some wood before we lose the light because it's too dangerous working in the dark, especially with like branches and stuff like that. I can easily put your eye out. Oh, you've burst your hammock, have you? Yes. Henrietta the hammock <coughs> lived until the age of seven. How did that happen? Yes. Your knife, was it? Sat on it. It had a whole, small hole in, and when you've gone and sat at it, it's tall. Henrietta the hammock lived until it's... the age of seven. In hammock years, that's about 86. I think it's a... Uh, it could be sewn, but you know what it is? It's a weak point there now, like... Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. It was good while it lasted. Old. You'd be gutted new, are you? You've got to sleep in a green hammock, not the pink hammock. Well, it's starting to get dark. We've gathered quite a bit of wood. Wood that was already under the canopy, so it's relatively dry. I brought a little bit of wood in. And the fire's going, I'm going to keep on cutting wood. I'm just going to keep on putting underneath the, underneath the canopy to just to dry off our future camps. So this is like a social area. We can cook here. We've got, we can store all our wood under here. Seen it before. So basically we're just chilling out. Chillaxing he likes to say. Do I? He likes to chillax. Relax, chill out. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just get away and we'll catch it all in a bit. If anything interesting happens, I know I've said that one a million times, but maybe it's when it gets dark, we'll see some, or we'll hear some strange goings on. Get out and do it a while camping in a spooky forest of doom, you know it makes sense. Make sense, Christopher? Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna sit down and have something to eat. Uh, Christopher's preparing his lunch, his Christmas dinner on Boxing Day. Very nice. And you know what it is, guys? I'm out for simplicity, as you know. And I thought, well, we've got all this extra food left over from yesterday. And I'm just going to eat it caveman style. It's absolutely massive. That's just the one of the legs. Leg and thigh, I think. Yeah, Christopher's basically chopping his up. Are you warming it up on the fire, are you? Yeah. I hate cold meat. Apart from the calm and that, I don't like cold beef and turkey. We had some pigs and blankets from yesterday as well. We brought loads. You know what, I was eating them cold earlier and I was thinking they're not that nice and Christopher had the bright idea of like warming them all over the fire and just letting the fat melt and you know what a difference it makes and I, I'm, I'm thinking why did I not think of that? You're just warming it through are you? Uh, I've got no pain receptors in my nerves today for some reason in my hands. It's freezing me because I was out there earlier and the ground was just like ice crystals so it is basically sub-zero now, or hovering around freezing. So all the foods, just like 
I think it's cool in a fridge, I want to eat it in a fridge. It's just a leftover Christmas dinner on Boxing Day special in the freezing cold forest. Don't you? Well, that's still cooking, sir. Ah, you see. And I'm here just to get out and do a wild camping and set the field recorder away and see if I can hear any strange goings on. I just hope there's nothing like we heard before. Oh. That was weird, wasn't that it? Was, that was that was scary, that thing. Like. I've heard foxes and I think, ah, oh, that's a fox, but it sounds a little bit like a woman screaming. 100% like it could have been like in a movie. If you didn't know what it was, you'd probably run out there and see if someone needed help. There's been a murder. Is that Irish or Scottish? Bit of both. It's like, why make stuff in the woods when you can bring stuff from home? It's all about simplicity. Now that's missing. Ma uh, roast potatoes, a bit of um, gravy stuffing. Should have made like a mini Christmas dinner, just bring a little yeah, bit of like the veg. A little bit of everything. Do you know these guys, we could have gone that extra mile and it would have been outstanding, but you know what it is? These pigs in blankets is all you need. In fact, Christmas day, these were getting hammered the most. To be honest with you, would it everything? Oh, definitely. There was enough of the damn things. How many was there? 72 of them. That water's taking a while to boil, and it's because of the temperature, the gas is struggling a little bit. Actually, I shut the can there, and it's, uh, it's getting a little bit better, a little bit quicker. No, I've heard you can feed it. Is that the right term, feeds it? Look at that, Christopher. It's, it's... You can't do that with jet boil. There you go. There you go, nice and warm. Shame there was no peas and carrots and... Peas? Mm. Yeah. Does anyone actually have peas for Christmas dinner anymore? So basically guys, we're just gonna have our leftover Christmas dinner on Boxing Day. Enjoy being out in the spooky forest and let our imaginations run wild. And just listen for strange things happening. The lights are on. But there's nobody home. He was in the new Action 4. If you're interested in me new vlogging rig in the small rig cage. And I've got a little tripod here, right? Put on a table. You know what I mean? Get up and do a bit of whale cap. You know if it makes sense, you know it makes sense. A bit of that. A bit of, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, I'm wild camping. You know what I mean? Oh, and I'll like big dick on them. Blimey now, the size of that. Sick and actually heat for comparison. <laughs> what about guys? It's bigger than me heat, isn't it? Got like a turkey's nose. Blimey hell, where do I start with this? Jesus Christ. Absolutely freezing cold. There's nothing wrong being in touch with your hunter gatherer side. I was a caveman side. Neanderthal. I'm gonna struggle eating this, so and I'm not gonna boys with the eating. Please don't. You know, do with a wild camping. You know it makes sense? Yeah. You know it makes sense. Oh, freezing. That's why you sit here next to my lovely homemade fire. Right, where were we till now? Everybody. Ah, oh, it's a little bit wild outside. That rain started maybe it was about I don't know in the early hours of the morning. And uh, it's yet to stay. It's actually a yellow weather warning for heavy rain and flood. Not that we're gonna get flooded, but you know, it's just for like driving home. You know, like uh, flooded roads and that sort of thing. But aye. It was absolutely bitter cold last night. 
and then it's super cloud over and then it got a little bit milder I, I knew from the weather forecast it was kind of rain and it was heavy rain that's water dripping in uh, a little bit dripped onto me mattress and then we were looking at and feel it dripping onto the, the lower part of me bivy basically this is the centre and you've got no protection from the rain got me bivy soaked and wet but just gotta get stuffed in my bag and then take it up and head off when I get home Enjoy it? Uh huh. Yeah, it's unusual. Uh, just the usual snoring. Oh, right. So nothing too strange, I suppose. Not really. The familiar sound of me snoring. Quite used to it. Absolutely chucking it, dude. Being in here doesn't even offer you any protection. The rain still gets here. Do the corners absolutely soak and wet, look at that. It was at this point the audio became corrupt. Now I think it was my fault because I, I was in the wrong mode. I was in photo instead of video mode and I unplugged the USB microphone when the camera was switched on and I know that can cause issues. I'm going to keep an open mind regarding that. I was just particularly interested in listening to the audio because on previous videos I've heard knocks, I've heard, you know, like strange sounds so yeah it was a good camp and uh look forward to seeing you all in the next one get out and do it a wild camp and you know it makes sense you know it makes sense